Hey guys, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the top 12 tips on working with wedding and engagement couples. These are all my own personal tips that I've picked up while working on engagements and weddings, and I wanted to share them with you. So tip number one, it's very important to always get to know the couple beforehand. I like to meet up with my couple, ask them how they met, get to know them, crack a couple jokes, get them to kind of like you. The more comfortable they are with you as a photographer, the better the pictures will come out. Another very helpful thing is to always ask the bride and the groom what kind of images they like, and especially if they're booking you specifically, ask them what images of yours that they liked so they can show you some examples. I like to see inspiration images that people show me that they like. I always like to ask about locations that they like, what kind of backdrop do they are they looking for in their pictures. Usually I'll be like, oh, do you want like a city look or do you want like more greenery? So it kind of like narrows it down so you can really get to what they like. Another very important tip is to ask the bride for must-have shots. These are shots that the bride absolutely wants, such as the veil shot. Maybe she has a special pair of earrings that she really wants you to photograph. Uh, this really is going to help you because if you accidentally miss a shot that she really, really wants, then she's not gonna be happy about that. So to combat all of this, ask beforehand, what kind of shots does she really want? For example, some brides want a picture separate with their si a specific sibling or a, maybe a really f close family friend growing up. So always ask what kind of shots that they must have. If possible, maybe ask the bridesmaid or the maid of honor, a sibling, to come with you to the couple session um, for a wedding shoot to hold the bouquet, to help you know flutter out the dress and help with the dress. I always do this. I always ask the sister of the bride or someone close to the bride. And most of the time it just works in my benefit because then I don't have to sit and have to worry about holding it like if she's not she has a shot that she's not holding the bouquet in we can have someone just hold it on the side for her we don't have to like go chasing it around like you know i i end up putting the bouquet like some random spot and then it just goes missing like a squirrel comes out of the tree and comes like grabs it and leaves because squirrels do that they take stuff that doesn't belong to them and they really need to stop that also even though you're a photographer, it is very important to help your bride, help carry her dress, offer to help hold the bouquet. If you see her struggling, I mean, just offer that help because it's just going to make the bride a little bit more comfortable. And I think it's just a nice thing to do. So another tip is to always get the couple shots first. So bride and the groom together, um, do all of that first and then move on to doing accessory shots. So bouquet, earrings, just detail shots, because if you run out of time for any reason, then at least you always have those couple shots. Another tip is to always have poses in mind when shooting with the bride and the groom. So if you run out of poses or ideas, I would just put a bunch on your phone and have like a separate folder for, with pose references that you saved off of Pinterest or any other website. Um, this always helps me and I can always show the couple the poses so that they can kind of mimic them. Have the couple talk to each other and just engage them both because if you don't have them saying anything to each other, it's going to get really awkward. So you always want them talking to each other and this kind of helps make a more natural photo when they're engaging with each other. And you want to give them time to be comfortable in front of the camera. You don't want to just start taking pictures and then expect them to just be really comfortable because it's not going to happen. You want to do a couple startup shots and then I feel like they'll get more comfortable as you take more shots. One very important tip and a lot of brides tell me this, okay? Some brides complain because the photographer does not get detailed shots of the back of the dress. So whether this is, again, the back of the dress or the veil, you want to get the shots with the details of both of those. Um, and again, either it's a bouquet or the shoes that she has on. The back of the dress is just a very, very important one uh, in general because they're buying the dress for its entirety and they want it to show. They want to show people, oh, this is the back of my dress. Because some dresses have like very exquisite details and they're very, they have nice trains. So get the back of the dress, okay? I've had a lot of brides complain that the, that the photographer does not get that and that's so what I'm telling you guys. So there will be no more complaining. <laughs> because if you really think about it, they pick that stuff out for a reason and you want to make sure you get that in there. Always fix the dress and the veil before you take each shot because it's, if it's scrunched up, it's going to look really bad. It's going to look unprofessional. You want to just make a little bit of tweaks before you take each shot. Or again, have that bridesmaids or the sister of the bride or whoever you brought with you just fix it before each shot. 
You want it to look clean, you want it to look polished. If the bride has a certain hair piece or a, a brooch, then you want to make sure to get those details because again, she's picking those out for a reason. Uh, if you're photographing, make sure you photograph like the side that that detail is on. So if the hair piece is going out this way, then you want to make sure to photograph her um, sometimes on this side so you can get that detail. One last tip, and you don't necessarily have to do this, but ask if the bride has a good side because a lot of the brides, you, when I'm photographing them, they're like, oh, this is my bad side. And I'll be like, okay, let's switch you up so we can get your good side. And I personally, I don't, this doesn't really cross my mind, but for brides, you can, I mean, some people are like that, some people are not. So just ask if they have a good side and photograph on that side that they're more comfortable and they feel like they look better at. So those are my tips for shooting weddings and engagements. Hopefully they've been helpful. Let me know some of your tips and what you guys think. And thank you guys so much for watching.